And the reason they do that instead of working overtime is because the nursing home doesn't want uh, overtime uh, to pay overtime pay. Uh, let older people work from home and if it's impossible, offer temporary retirement and sabbatical during uh, times of high transmission, which is typically will last uh, a few months uh, under normal circumstances. Uh, minimize multi-generational living and, uh, for example, in the US, students were sent from universities to live at home instead, and that increased multi-generational living instead of having the students leaving universities where they would, so they were home infecting their parents and grandparents instead of uh, uh, in the universities where they were asked to infect other low-risk students. Home delivery of food and that's the set is to all the people meet outdoors instead of indoors and so on. So there's many very traditional ways to protect the old that at least in the US we failed to implement. Uh, we can see in Sweden here, they use vaccines for focus protection. So uh, this is uh, from, from, uh, from last uh, 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 winter and spring. We can see there were two waves of cases in Sweden. The first wave which peaked uh, um, around December, January, and then the second wave that peaked in April or May. And in the first peak, there were very few people have been vaccinated. So we also saw a peak in deaths. During the second pe peak of cases in April, May, uh, almost all old people have been vaccinated. And there we saw basically a decoupling. So there were still a few deaths, but not very many. So that was sort of gradually going down. So we basically, the vaccine was able, with focus protection using vaccines, we were able to, in Sweden, we were able to decouple cases and death. We can see in the United States, and this uh, these uh, uh, data is a couple of months old, so they have changed a little bit, but not too much. We see that Florida and Nebraska who used focus protection did quite well. Uh, New Jersey and New York, who were two of the worst uh, at uh, protecting nursing home residents, they did among the worst here. So uh, uh, doing focus protection in terms of COVID will give good outcomes, but in essence, it's enough to be average because uh, because you also avoid the collateral damage and other diseases. So we're going to talk about that a little bit now. And uh, with Sonetra and others, uh, we have uh, uh, a product called Collateral Global, uh, where we uh, uh, document and evaluate and disseminate information about the lockdown damage on various aspects of public health, education, and so on. So some examples are uh, uh, missed cancer screenings and treatment, worse cardiovascular disease outcomes, skip diabetes appointments, plummeting child vaccination rates, deteriorating mental health, malnutrition, and starvation. So here, for example, mm -hmm. uh, we can see uh, 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 how newly identified cancers uh, before and during the coronavirus, COVID epidemic in 2020. And we could see that there were less uh, breast cancer, less colorectal cancer, less lung cancer detected. Pancreatic cancer was not uh, such a big difference, which is sort of what you would expect since it's such an acute uh, cancer. Uh, but of course, there wasn't less cancer, it was just they were not detected and therefore they were not treated. And these are things that uh, it, it might not affect mortality uh, this year, but somebody who might have lived 15, 20 years from now might not live, uh, die three or four years from now. So it's something we're going to live with and die with for a long time, system mm -hmm. effects. Here are uh, diabetes, uh, 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 data. So, uh, on reduced hemoglobin diabetes monitoring, we can see sort of went down uh, during the pandemic. This is vaccinations uh, uh, in the United States. Vac childhood vaccines plummeted because of the lockdowns, uh, but there's also huge uh, effects in, uh, in in other countries with disruption in vaccine efforts and other diseases. Mental health has been uh, uh, very tragic. Uh, and this shows that uh, um, um, rising levels of anxiety and depression during the pandemic, uh, um, and especially among uh, uh, younger adults. 
uh, in the developing countries, we have had hunger and starvation because when the uh, when parents can no longer so sell their uh, vegetables on the market because the market closed, they can't get uh, the income, and then uh, there's been malnutrition and starvation among among uh, the children. Uh, and of course, just falling living standards uh, have uh, bad consequences in the developing developed world, but it has catastrophic consequences in the developing world. Uh, so there are various of these estimates about how many uh, uh, children, for example, has suffered because of these lockdowns around the world. Um, now, if you go to social inequalities, uh, this is a cartoon by a Swedish uh, cartoonist. What part of social distancing do you people not understand? So uh, what the, the lockdowns did, it protected the young, low risk members of the laptop class, journalists, scientists, teachers, politicians, lawyers, etc., uh, who can work from home. They'll have their food delivered uh, from the restaurants while throwing children, the working class and higher risk pe older people under the bus. We can see that, for example, from Boston, uh, you can see that uh, uh, the blue are the COVID infections and the purple are percent of people educated. So you can see in the, in the, in the neighborhoods of Boston with the higher levels of education like Fenway, Back Bay and so on, um, there were fewer COVID, but in uh, areas with less education, like uh, East Ballas, Boston, and Hyde Park, there were more COVID. So this is the, uh, an example of where uh, COVID hit the, the working class the worst, while the, the, those of us who are in the professional class were more protected. Here's the same thing from Toronto, high versus low income neighborhoods. You can see uh, in the beginning, both were sort of affected, but then it was lockdowns held down the cases in the wealthy neighborhoods where it exploded in the less affluent neighborhoods. Uh, here's the comparison of Los Angeles uh, versus Florida. And Florida used focus protection. So you can see that uh, if you look at the right first, um, the mortality were about the same among African-Americans, Hispanics and whites slightly lower in Hispanics. On the other hand, in Los Angeles, where they did, did, you did lockdowns instead of focus protection, uh, you can see that uh, the rates were much higher among the Hispanics and African Americans, where it was lower among the whites. And you can also see that there was a huge difference based on, uh, uh, on poverty levels, where the poor neighborhoods uh, was much more, higher, much more affected by COVID. And here we can compare Florida, California, and New York. You can see that in Florida, uh, the, the yellow is the proportion of population. So 26% of Florida's population are Latinos, and they were 24% of the deaths. So it's about the same. Same for, for Blacks, it's 15 and 16%, and for White, it's 54 and 56. So the mortality was more or less proportional to the population. But in California, the Latinos were much more affected by death than compared to population, while the, uh, the white population were much less affected. In New York, it's the African Americans that were much more affected compared to population, while again, the whites were less mm -hmm. affected. So uh, these lockdowns have uh, really had an unequal effect, and I, I think it's uh, sort of the worst assault on the working class in the US since the segregation and the Vietnam War over half a half a century ago. So uh, human rights and freedoms are, are most important for workers and the poor. So limiting the lockdowns have limited these things and that has affected the, the poor and the workers more, while the elites, which most of us belong to, uh, we have more, more freedom to do what we want and still prosper. Uh, so that's the, my talk, uh, the uh, focus protection. At the, as a different in age, based on the different in, in age for uh, mortalities by age, uh, the harms from lockdowns on public health and other things, 
and uh, in a, uh, and the huge inequalities that it has uh, created, at least in the United States. So thank you so much for listening. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So um, now it's time for questions and discussion. So if we can actually get to the screen, both the speakers uh, who have joined uh, with us over internet and uh, Professor Hirelutzer, maybe you can come here. If you want to sit here, maybe I will stay, stay here and then... Your slides. Uh, Would you please stop sharing your slides, Nick? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Oh, there it is. Stop presenting. Good. Good. Thank you very much. So, Professor Gupta, Professor Kuldorf, so we are, you are on the screen now, and with uh, Professor Ira Lutzer. So, um, maybe we start with questions from audience. 